Welcome everybody to another how-to video on how to change the oil on a Ferris IS3200Z. Uh, this particular model has a 37 horse Briggs & Stratton engine and also it come with a uh, oil guard system from Briggs & Stratton or uh, Vanguard is their uh, new name for their commercial lines. But uh, anyway, what this system does, it runs basically a dry sump in the engine and places all the oil uh, five quarts of it in this aluminum tank which which uh, dissipates the heat and also just you know running more uh, clean oil through the motor all the time and also it increases your oil change intervals from 50 hours which is real common on commercial mowers to uh, 500 hours but initially you need to change the oil at the first 50 hours and then you can go 500 after that so um, what we want to do here is I'm going to show you this uh, OEM Briggs & Stratton filter. The number is 595930. And I recommend getting a OEM filter for this just so you make sure it's the correct one. Also, uh, it, Briggs & Stratton recommends and also it says right here it's, it was factory filled with 15 uh, W by 50 full synthetic oil which is a little bit hard to find, but uh, you can find it. It's mostly uh, racing oil. Um, so what I did was I went to my local O'Reilly's Auto Parts, and this oil is normally about $9.50 a quart, and they had a sale on it for just a little over 5 bucks a quart. And so I bought a couple of cases, actually three cases, uh, and put it in my uh, Suburban. So uh, heck of a deal. So. Um, in this uh, oil guard system, the oil filter is underneath this large cap, and this is the uh, dipstick where you check your oil. And the first thing you want to do is start your engine for about five minutes. It doesn't have to be super hot, just warmed up. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, increase the flow of the uh, oil since it's warm, and also just kind of loosens it up, gets it going. So uh, before you do anything, what we want to do is start draining the oil and if you look here underneath the oil guard tank and it has a valve right there but if you open that valve nothing's going to come out because it has a uh, a little protector cap underneath that keeps the debris out and it's right here so you'll need to take that off first so now we're, we're ready to drain. So all this cap does is keep all the uh, chaff and dirt and mud and uh, actually mud daubers out of there. So remove this cap first. And then we need to put a uh, receptacle of some sort under here to catch the oil. And if you notice, I've got my uh, mower right on the edge of my garage and that's just enough room to get a five gallon bucket under it. Because these mowers are pretty tall to begin with. We'll need to slide this under where that cap was and let's get the uh, oil started draining here. So we're going to just unscrew this valve all the way. Okay, and so uh, it's hard to see but we've got oil draining in there. It's a pretty good clip. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this safety uh, tie right here. You don't want this cap getting caught on a limb or something and opening up. You're going to have oil everywhere. And so that's why you need to have this uh, zip tie on there. And I saw that the new kit comes with a new zip tie. So remove that. And uh, so before you even open that up, if you have compressed air, blow all this off. I like using a brush a lot. Just get all the chaff off of this if you can. And if you have uh, some uh, brake cleaner, you can spray it off too. Do not use carburetor cleaner. This is just brake clean. All nice and clean. So if you use carburetor cleaner on a lot of this stuff, it might melt it. 
So we're going to turn this cap a quarter turn off. And that exposes the oil filter right there. So uh, what we'll do is we'll turn this oil filter a quarter turn to the left counterclockwise. And now it's got a nice little finger uh, grip right there. And so we just loosen it up and pull it off. So uh, all we have to do is put the new filter in. Should have this ready, but here we go. All right, lubricate seals before installation. So that's what we want to do next. So I'm going to set the camera down and and uh, get a different view here. Okay, guys, I've set the camera back up where I don't have to hold it. Uh, we're going to lubricate this o-ring and this o-ring with some fresh oil if you take a quarter oil and you shake it and then you take the cap off you'll have enough oil left on the bottom of the cap to lubricate a few o-rings so that's what we're going to do I really like this oil guard system I'm not a commercial cutter, but I do mow a lot, and I change the oil quite frequently at 50 hours, and I can't imagine how often you're changing it if you're a commercial mower, using this thing every day, six, eight hours a day or more. So uh, just having this oil guard system on here is going to prolong the life of any motor. Uh, so I mean, it just, it just makes sense. So all right, now I'm going to position this filter and push it down so I've seated the o-rings now I've got to lock it into place and so it has a ramp right here where it locks right into place okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to lubricate the o-ring right here and the mating surface right here so we're going to use the uh, oil again in the cap just enough So for right now, I'm going to put this on here just to keep the dirt out of it while I button up the bottom end. Then we'll come back and we'll put our five quarts of oil in right here. Okay, guys, so what I did was I turned the, uh, the drain cock off and I put the uh, dust cap back on underneath there. And now I'm going to remove this and I'm going to add my five quarts of oil right here. Now this is a real smart way of uh, adding oil because when you add oil it actually goes through the filter so by doing that even if you get a little bit of dirt in here dropped in uh, while you're uh, adding oil it's going to be filtered out so it's a pretty fail safe system so I'll continue to add five quarts of oil right here I would not recommend adding oil if the filter is out it seems like the easy thing to do. You could pour it in very fast, but if you drop any debris in there, it's just going to get in the motor, and we don't want that. So make sure you have your new filter in before you add the uh, oil. Okay, guys, so I've got the fifth quart of oil in here, and so since this holds the oil, I don't have to put it together, crank it up, and run it for 30 seconds, and then... Uh, check the oil this is the reservoir of the oil so we that's going to give us a true reading right here when we uh, check it now there's a uh, a lock right here there's a little tab here that goes underneath this little aluminum dog so make sure you push it down all the way before you check it and I can see where just maybe an eighth inch above the uh, upper level so we're good to go now we can put the cap back on bring it over here align the holes and we're gonna put the little safety uh, zip tie on here now what I want to tell you guys that if you get uh, you know half a quarter oil low or a quarter oil you want to add some 
then you're going to have to take this zip tie off and if you if you're careful you can take it loose right here on that little tang and it'll pull apart you just unlock it right there with a little sharp blade or a knife you can pull it apart if you want to reuse it I just recommend cutting it off uh, adding your oil and then wiring this together or add another zip tie but anyway you get one in the uh, oil filter kit and so that's one we're going to use and I don't like this uh, extra hanging out so I'm going to cut most of that off so guys, thanks for joining me on how to change your oil in an oil guard system from Briggs & Stratton. And uh, I'd like to add also that this uh, Ferris uh, 3200Z, uh, even though it's virtually new, I bought it new last fall, it does have some issues. I love the machine. I wouldn't trade it for any machine. But uh, I have done a lot of uh, what you call hacks on this uh, machine to make it run better and cut better. So. Uh, I'm going to make a whole video line on how I did that. So uh, just check with me uh, often and uh, or subscribe and then click the bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll be notified when I upload those videos. So anyway, thanks again for joining me. Like and subscribe and share. See you next time. Bye.